I like how you are googling stuff from anti-Islamic sites acting smart and all. Where did I post? What did I post that was wrong? Posted. You really want to go there, Mr. Seven-Headed Dragons? Go for it, Mr. Ox Head perched on an ostrich neck. That would be the Daba. It has this big ox head with elephant, elephant uh, ears and stag horns, and it's perched on a on an elf on, on an ostrich neck. Go for it, uh, yeah, Mr. Flat Earth, Mr. Flat Earth on the back of a giant fish called Nun. Actually, scratch that. I don't even need to say anything because your crit is ridiculous enough. Father, Paul, and Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'll take my friendly ghost over your holy goat any day. Oh, are you back to typing your holy, God, holy ghost stuff again? Are you being penetrated by Paul? Let me hear that holy laughter. I thought Muslims believed it was Mo who, who penetrated the apostles as the comforter at Pentecost. Cheeky Mo. Nope, not necessarily. It is only a speculation. Could be right, could be wrong. No speculation of who, quote, penetrated who if you are not a Muslim. Whereas your Trinitarian fags love it when the spirit gets friendly, start, start giggling and shit. I have no idea. It sounds like if we did, we'd, be, we'd like to be in the Muslim paradise where 50,000 chaste virginal boys would feed us grapes around our palm tree sized erections that are never soft. We don't know how it will go down in heaven. Maybe not in heaven, but in, par in Jenna, paradise. It sounds like a subtle brothel of virgins with small wide butts, swelling breasts, hymens that grow back to make them virgin again the moment you pull out. Boys that are young, virginal, chaste, virgins that are all 90 feet tall with everything transparent except for the bone marrow. Be still my beating heart. Palm tree sized penises you can't see the end of around all those 50,000 to 700 male virgins as you drink wine. Oh, but don't tell me. This is all just metaphoric and not a twisted pedophile's way to try to get perverts to kill for him to spread his religion, true? All this is metaphoric and holy and not to make a perverted desert pirate not care about being killed in all his cause, right? All boasts of being the best of deceivers and makes good on it by only making it appear that Jesus went to the cross when secretly taking Jesus up, Jesus up into heaven, creating Christianity, but is telling the truth about the mile wide butts in paradise. True? <laughs> but the question is to you here on earth, y'all. Y'all? Homie? Y'all? Y'all claim you feel the spirit. So tell us what happens when it enters. And when quote, it and quote, enters, and from where does it enter? By the way, I'm a Trinitarian, but I'm not a Pentecostal Trinitarian. So why don't you ask a, Pen a Pentecostal Trinitarian? For I've never experienced such a thing. I mean, really, I haven't. You know what's interesting? That anyone can trust Allah about getting virgins with mile wide butts if they die killing for it? after it tricks Christians by only making it appear that Jesus made sense of all the sin offerings and blood atonement described the Torah. All this book given to Musa. Is the double standard you apply, which is all prophets did the same as our prophet. Really? Pork nine-year-olds? Torture people with fire to find out where treasure is hidden? Pull an old lady apart with camels because she complained about the slaughtering of her village? Have, have sex with captured married women? Really? But you do not criticize them because you are all y'all. A bunch of Trinitarian hypocrites. Well, where did Jesus pork a nine-year-old? Torture people with fire to find out where treasure is hidden. Pull an old lady apart. In, in Kurfa. Uh, pull an old lady apart with camels because she complained about Jesus slaughtering her village. Where did Jesus have sex with captured married women? Or allow the Christians to have sex with captured married women? Where in the angel does it say that? What can you say to a hypocrite? Interject your words to his to show that you are reading his words and at the same time expose to others what they are believing, giving a good laugh to those around you? One interesting aspect is that you are indeed correct and Muhammad is a false prophet. Under the same logic, your worship, you, your worship a bastard son of a whore. 
If the Quran is true about Allah getting down in the breathy with the Quran marries Farja a vagina, then you're right. For Allah denies it has a son, making Isa son of Mary a bastard. Just when you think the level of stupidity of this thread is that of its max, the Trinitarian never fails to take it up a notch. How so? How so? I see you are quoting lies. You read from your anti-Islamic sites. Well, but sure, keep it up. Which website? My point stands. If the Quran is not true, by your logical standards, it simply means that you worship a bastard son of a whore who has a, has a thing for Roman soldiers. It's that simple. Actually, it's the opposite, because if you read the Quran, you find out that the reason why there is an Isa son of Mary is because all it gets down and breathy by breathing and blowing into her farjah, uh, gets down breath, uh, breathy with the Quran Mary's farjah, vagina. Then vehemently, vehemently denies fathering a son, making, quote, Isa son of Mary, Jesus, a bastard. Only in Islam is Isa son of Mary a bastard, not so in the Injil, where Jesus is calling God his father, etc. And God says, uh, uh, Behold my son, uh, and whom I will pleased. So... Jesus is only a bastard in Islam, not not in Islam, not 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 in Christianity. I say that as usual, you are applying an idiotic response, more idiotic than your false creed. To repeat, assuming you are, assuming you are correct and the Quran is false, a conclusion you reached by thinking logically. Oh, thinking logically. Mm -hmm. Then why are you referring to it? By the same logical standard, it can be logically inferred that you worship a bastard son of a soldier. Go figure. Oh, I took that apart. Yeah. I see that as uh, usual. You're applying an idiotic response. How so, how so? More idiotic than your false creed. How is it false? To repeat, assuming you are correct and that the current is false, a conclusion you reached by thinking logically. Right. Doesn't take much logic to see how evil. <laughs> then why are you referring to it? Referring to what? By the same logical standards, it can be logically inferred that you worship a bastard son of a Roman soldier. Go figure. If I am, then the quote clear signs, Quran is wrong by saying all the breathed and blew into the Quran, Mary's Farjah getting her pregnant with a son, Allah would then vehemently deny fathering. Time and again, the deteriorating Trinitarian IQ, the Trinitarian IQ level is poking its ugly head in this dialogue. How so? It is okay though. I will keep repeating myself, giving you the benefit of the doubt. Well, how so? What doubt? We conclude the Quran is false. We? What puzzles me is that your response always includes a Quranic reference to imply Jesus is not a bastard son of a Roman soldier. Are you saying you don't believe the Quran about Allah impregnating Mary with Jesus? Mary got jiggy with a Roman soldier and gave birth to a bastard son. Then we should throw away Christianity and Islam, if you ask me. Who Trinitarian fags end up worshipping? O-M-A. Islam must be true then. Because, you know, he, he resorted to personal attack. And if you resort to personal attack, Islam must be true then. <laughs> not necessarily. What? Islam might not be true? I don't know what is true and what does not. What? You should obey Quran. You should obey most of Quran 568 and stand from upon the Torah and Injil due to the fact that they confirm each other by Jesus making sense of all the sin offerings and blood tongue described in the Torah. All is given to Musa. I better stop it here.